We fielded a lot of questions about Starlink over the last year, and we needed to make a couple of new cables for our setup. So we decided to use this as an opportunity to run through how to make a cable for those that are you know, thinking about cutting them, and also just do a quick overview of our system and, and walk through it. So let's get started. Today we're gonna to be using some spare cables that we had laying around. They're remnants from busted up cables uh, we've had in the past. Accidents happen, that's why I always recommend keeping a spare cable. We've got a spare 75 foot cable in the truck, you know, fresh from Starlink, untouched, just in case. I kept these cut ends knowing that we'd eventually take our installation to the next level. And right now what that's gonna be is just making some more purpose-built cables, a um, little bit shorter, fit the space better. Uh, right now what's on there is a little bit long, a little bit cumbersome. We've used them enough to know that the length we've got them is good. So now we're just gonna make some cut to length cables. We'll throw those other longer ones into the spare bin and we'll have two sets of spares. All right, tools needed, pretty straightforward. We've got a cable cutter and stripper. We've got our crimping tool. We've got our shielded RJ45 ends. And then we've just got a couple of wire cutters and crimpers that we'll be using. We're using pass-through RJ45s, which means our cable is gonna actually come through the front of our connector. What that does is gives us a little bit more leeway when, when trying to get the wires in the right order. Also means we have a little bit more length of cable to play around with. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to, to get everything in place. So we're gonna strip it, you know, strip the wire a little further back with these handy little strippers. And just drop it in, just give it a quick little turn. It doesn't take much to get through that outer sheath. And I'm just gonna pull it off. Starting with the cable, outside in, you've got your sheath, you've got your, your shielding right here. It's almost like a little aluminum foil. You've got your grounding wire, and then you've got your four pairs of twisted pairs. Green, white, green, orange, white, orange, blue, white, blue, and brown, white, brown. So we're gonna separate these all out and get them ready to, to get in the connector. When it comes to the order of the cables, because we're just extending the cable, the order doesn't technically matter. It just needs to be the same on both sides. That said, there are some standards in the industry, and if there is standards, you know, why not stick with them? Uh, if nothing else, that way, if you're trying to do this later on, or you need to make a replacement cable, you know what you did the last time. T568A or B. Either one's fine. I heard that Starlink uses the B standard in their equipment. Um, I don't know that that is true or not. I have not bought any of their other products and, and torn into them to see, but just in case it is true, I usually tell people to use the B standard. The thing I see a lot of people get hung up on is they think because when, when you plug these into a coupling, they're technically opposite each other and pin one is gonna be opposite pin eight. Uh, people think they need to wire their, their connectors opposite each other. Not true, don't overthink it. The coupling switches the, the cables for you. You just wire them in the same order and let the coupling do the work. Trying to get these straight enough to make our life easier. Usually Francis does this. Uh, I'm trying my hand at it. I have done this in the past, years and years ago, and I've done it enough to know that I don't enjoy it. Now we've got our wires through. Everything's in the correct order. It's seated in there nice. Got our ground wire coming down here. We'll deal with it later. Next step is go ahead and get this crimped. These things are pretty straightforward. We're just gonna slide them on. All right, so now we're gonna capture our ground wire. Cock this guy up just a little bit. Make sure it's you know, tight in there, and then we'll just take a pair of pliers and just bend this guy over. Just enough to capture it, hold it in place. It doesn't need to be, you know, you don't have to like reef down on this thing and, and try to like crush it. 
Just want it held in place, nice and tight. I'm just gonna snip this off. Kind of close. And there we go. On. <laughs>